Starting off with this this afternoon, continuing coverage right now on the Alabama Cushada Indian tribes fight with the state. Recently, a congressman in East Texas authored a bill to help keep their gaming facility open, which is advanced in the House. Here's KTK's Matt Thibodeau. The last time we spoke to the Alabama Cushada tribe about their fight with the state, they had received overwhelming support from all the surrounding counties. Still, the state has not backed down. They're saying that we, the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act does not apply to us. And we're saying, yes, it does. Um, so that's what we want cleared up by this bill that's been introduced, H.R. 759. The bill was authored by Congressman Brian Babin, who has known the tribe for 40 years. They uh, opened this thing up about three years ago, and the state of Texas has come after them. After studying this thing, I said, this is just simply not right. Congressman Babin cited the gaming facility at the traditional Kickapoo tribe of Texas and how it has been open since 1996 with no interference from the state as reasoning for the bill. It's a matter of fairness. That's what this bill is all about. Treat the Alabama Cushadas the way the Kickapoo tribe of Texas has been treated. The bill recently passed in the first committee. And despite the bill advancing, tribal leaders aren't sitting back and waiting. They know they still have a long way to go and a lot of work to do. We've got a digital campaign going on. We're in D.C. knocking on doors to senators and congressmen. We have to be proactive in this. Recently, Texas Senator John Cornyn made a stop in Tyler County where he met Flores and other tribal leaders. Flores asked Senator Cornyn if he would support them in the Senate. His comment back to me was, if it comes out of the House, I will support it in the Senate. Though their support continues, the Alabama Cushada suspect the biggest challenge will come from Governor Abbott's office. Matt Thibodeau, KETK News.